So water buffalo legs with the water buffalo head. We'll glue the snout on later. But you'll notice you'll have a couple slots open on each side still and they all have finger tabs. See? Four finger tabs. So these will slide in and then the finger tabs will lock in down here. One, two, three, four on each side. So let's focus on uh, one leg here. Let's go on the back. And push up the finger tab. Get the start, push up the next finger tab. Make the legs go on the other side of the body. There we go. Yeah, push up these finger tabs, get them cleared. Keep working them back and forth. That's where you see your channels are glued in really well. A lot of paper to fit in there. Okay, one in there. And I gotta work out four of them at once. Four of the slots, not four legs, just focus on one side. There we go. Yeah, once you get those four slots lined up, I mean, it really slides in pretty well. You just gotta move your finger tabs to hook it in place on all four. Last one's being a little difficult, but. There we go. Now we have to get the legs done on the other side, but we have the flexibility to pull down and the other side's locked. We won't have to redo those. So this finger tab's gonna go in here. That's your magical square. That finger tab goes all the way down there for that fat leg, so. Spin up these finger tabs a little bit. All four of them the same direction, just a little bit of curve to them. Make it easier to slide this in. Yeah, back legs are done. Now before I move those off to the side, just kind of manhandle it. Just don't want to crease them. Lots of flex in the paper. It's great. There we go, there's a tip for you guys. So, so I'm pushing this together, trying to force it up. I'm actually pushing that part down and then the bottom piece. So I'm pushing this slot this way and pushing this down, it's catching on that paper. So check the raise up the back legs this way to clear the slot. That makes sense. It was getting caught up on this bottom piece. Even though the front looked great left and right, but up and down it was off just to here. So, there we go, we can fold him. Make sure everything's pressed down, look good. 
grass is down. You may hear some popping of paper finally finding its home and its right place. Hold it the other way. Careful the nose, it's still not glued in quite yet. Don't want to bend the paper, there we go. Let's get this glue dried in, this nose here. Let's Just hit the one panel, not the round nose part, but just the outside panel here. There we go. Your tweezers will come in handy. You can see it will go flush with the next piece, the round piece. Just squeeze it with the tweezers and hold it for a few seconds. Water buffalo. We got the tabs. And we're gonna glue those into the card and glue the card together and we'll be done in a brief second. Okay, I'll be with you in a second. So you got your Lunar New Year's, the year of the water buffalo. He's all set, attached to the, the grass here. We're going to do our tabs. See both sides have the tabs. We also have your lotus that you did earlier with some tabs. You got your dotted lines in there. We're going to fold that a little bit later. And your inside cover where you have the slots to put your tabs. So let's do the water buffalo first. You want to make sure when the card's facing you, everything looks right. So if you're looking this way, the water buffalo is going to face that way. So it makes sense. You don't want the water buffalo's butt facing you. You'll see. The one set of tabs is back right leg. The other set's the front left leg. So works good. You take your tweezers, you can bend that flat. And sometimes they'll space out a little bit wide. Spin them flat so they line up. And you can squeeze them together here to get the paper. And then you're going to put that right in the slot there. Grab it from the back side. Pull tight. See how that's in there? Nice and flush. You can fold the cow down towards the top. Hold your card down. Try not to crease it. We're not really ready to crease, but this is just to get a nice firm seal. I like to push one tab one way, another tab the other way, and a nice heavy layer of glue. On both, do the base and the tab. So both sides are getting wet and the uh, Having some glue. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a couple of seconds to dry. It's a lot of pressure and torque on these tabs to open and close the cards. Roll down pretty firm. But don't do it too hard. You don't want to crush the inside of the card because we're not sure everything's lined up inside perfect. It's just a temporary close. You let that sit for maybe a minute or so if you want. And whenever you feel it's dry, you know, a nice firm press. The tabs are not coming up. Even though the purple glue is still showing, it's a little bit wet. We'll go ahead and we'll take the rest and we'll move ahead here. So now we need the tabs here for this one. Same process. Get that lined up, push together. You can even overlap it if you want. Put in the hole. Once it's through the hole, make sure. Can't really have it overlapped when you glue though. That's gonna sit flush. See that side's flush, this side's flush. Water buffalo facing towards you when you open up the card, everything's great. And close them up again. Keep pulling those tabs with a little bit of pressure. Now 
you know, you don't want to rip the paper, but you do do need it flush for all the angles to work out. So it's pretty important you take your time and pull it down. We'll glue up the tabs really nice like before. Opposite directions. Last chance to pull it snug. I'm not pressing too hard, maybe just the weight of a couple of fingers here. Main point is just to get all the paper contact with this one. Now it's moving, it looks secure. Give it an open up and see what happens. Oh, beautiful. Good morning, Mr. Water Buffalo. So he's in here secure. Now we're going to move to our lotus and lilies, our beautiful orange dragonfly. Let's follow these dotted lines here and give us a small crease. Maybe better to do it with tweezers. Yeah, keep that crease pretty, pretty straight. You don't want to bend it because of the angles. And it doesn't really have to bend both ways, just bend it on top of itself. You can make it flush here. The card will fold down 100% like this. You can pre-bend these tabs. You'll have a little bit of a dotted lines right there to help you fold. You can bend those straight. Just so when you put them through, it'll be a little bit easier to bend. So, should be a little bit obvious. One on one side, two on the other side. Let's glue the two sides first. Pull that through. Leave that one loose, it don't matter. Maybe fold that up, fold up the card again so we can pull on this side. Nice and firm. Hit the card in the tab. I like to do opposite sides to hold it. It's okay. Oh, it'll all dry and look great. Make sure you check each one and pull them firm. That one slid out a little bit, but I got it just in time. Chunk of glue there, so just so I don't get that on my table. If not, it'll just dry clear. You don't have to worry about it. Open it up. Time to get the last tab stuck in there. So you can bend this forward again and grab the tab from the back, and then you can fold them up gently again. And I guess let's go that way, that one. There we go, a little bit better job with the glue on that one. Okay. So, careful when you open it up. So put your hand there and rip. Just do the sides again and everything should pop up. Now this is the inside cover that's completely done. Now we have to attach the inside cover to the outside cover. Now the inside cover is done here. Everything should be secure. All your tabs are down. You do have some holes, but this is your inside cover of your water buffalo. You can grab your cover that we did earlier. Here's a trick. Put the haystack by the haystack, slide this underneath. And there you go. So when you open up the card, 
your wider buffalo will be facing you. So this one, we got the brown shown through here and that's what's going to fill in all these holes. Remember we left that open so you can see through. That's how you're going to get the dark color to come through. Your uh, lily pads will show up in the back here with the color. Now when we glue in the inside cover to the outside, we're going to put a even border around on the edges. So the inside here you can line up the green to the edge. We're going to leave about an eighth of an inch going around the outside, but not the center. The center will be flush here. Oops. So look something similar to this. Nice border around all the edge. This one's pretty important that you don't have it too twisted and cockeyed one side to the other. Even if it's off center a little bit this way, it's okay. If you have it twisted, your math is going to get all confused when you close up this guy. So I think we're going to glue down half one time and then we'll come back and glue the other half because everything will get dry. So it doesn't matter which side you start on. I think I'll do this side first. You'll have to go around a couple times to reactivate the glue. So dry. You get the edges with some nice even glue because that's where it's going to go. Okay, let's go quick for your last coat here and get some purple on everything. Got to act a little bit quick. Okay. This lined up on the one side. Don't press down hard. You want to be able to float around the paper a little bit. Maybe just focus on the center. The rest should fall in place. Okay, let's start tapping this down and get some glue bonding before it dries. Looks like a pretty nice border there. Get your get your roll on here. And any glue that purple on the border on the green, it's gonna dry clear. Don't worry about it, just let it sit there. Try to get in there around the tabs. That's where all the pressure is. Kind of hard to get underneath the water buffalo, but use your tweezers. Anything you can. I get that seam, you don't want that to come up. Excuse me, Mr. Water Buffalo. Okay. You can close them up to get that seam. Here's a little pro tip for you. Just remember, keep your Water Buffalo folded up perfect before you press down hard. You don't want him to be crooked and then have an issue. So, that looks pretty secure. We got a nice seam around everything. Let's glue up this side and finish that bad boy. Any part where there's a lip, you don't press as hard because it's just going to act like a cheese grater. And... I 
And you want in the brown part too. You need the uh, hay to stick down all those slits and cuts. Okay, quick reactivation. Let's get this all purple again here. Gives a little bit more extra time to work with it before it dries. All right. This one should line up pretty easy. Start from the center. There's only so much room it will flex and move because the pieces are attached. Gentle push to get contact and then you can firm up the pressure. Just move quick, lots of area, nice and light here. Okay, let's give this, give this guy some pressure and steamroll that kid. Okay, you won't be able to fold this one so easy to get in that center now that you got the second one in there because we need to line it up for the final fold. Make sure it's bonded really well. You could even wait a few minutes if you want for it to set up. So then we're going to take them, um, fold gently. It's like a new pair of shoes. Uh, it's going to be really stiff the first time. There's no crease. Gently fold it up and we're going to line up the corners here. Don't uh, worry about the rest. These corners lined up on the edge. And work your way back and slowly push down here. You roll your seam gently. Now you're starting to get crease. By doing your crease here, if you did it quick enough, the inside's gluing that second piece right on the seam. So, there you go, what a beautiful, beautiful water buffalo. You guys will enjoy this. Thank you so much.